Hello guys. In previous lecture, we have seen a uh, double rated annual report, and there we have discussed about assets. Right? We have seen the categories of asset, uh, current asset. About assets, right? We have seen the categories of asset, uh, current assets, and current assets, and we have seen that which assets uh, they have recorded in non-current asset side, and which assets they have recorded in current asset side. Now we will discuss about share capital and liabilities. Okay, so we have already seen asset uh, and non-asset uh, discussion. We have already done. Now we have to see liability part and equity part. Yeah. Here you can see. Uh, in uh, after recording of assets, what uh, Dabur is doing? Dabur they are recording their equity and liabilities. Right. So if you see equity in equity, they have recorded uh, equity share capital and other equity. So equity share capital generally funds which are invested by owners of the right. And here in other equity, we will include reserve and surplus balance. You might be thinking that what is reserve and surplus balance? Right. Let's suppose. We will include reserve and surplus balance. You might be thinking that what is reserve and surplus balance? Right? Let's suppose in I am uh, take example of Zomato. Right now we are discussing the annual report of uh, Dabur, but I am taking example of Zomato. Zomato has raised nine thousand crore rupees from public. Right, so they will be showing nine thousand crore in equity share capital side. Right now when Zomato they have raised money, definitely they will be running business. Right, be running business with the help of this money and every year they will be generating some profit that right? every year they will be generating profit for example i am assuming that every year Sumato is generating profit of 1000 crore right every year they will be generating profit of 1000 crore now whatever profit Zomato generated definitely they have to distribute they have to share this profit with shareholders for sure they will be sharing profit with shareholders. So let's suppose what Zomato do, Zomato, they don't distribute 100% profit to the shareholder. Let's suppose they distribute only 50% profit to the shareholders, right? So 50% of 1000 is going to be 500 crore, right? So they pay dividend of 500 crore to their shareholders every year. Right? If they are paying dividend of 500 crore rupees every year to their shareholders, it means they are retaining 50% amount, right? They are retaining so this is going to be dividend and they are retaining 50 percent amount with them only right they are retaining 50 percent out of thousand crore with itself only right so 500 crore is given to public and five crore is retained by company right now if i talk about this profit there's a that is thousand crore this whole profit to whom this whole profit belongs to shareholders right this whole thousand crore belongs to whom Holders. They are giving only 500 crore dividend and remaining balance is 500 crore. This retain earning also belongs to shareholder only. Right? This retain earning also belongs to shareholder. This is a money of shareholder. Right? Now, if company is retaining this money with them, so definitely they are creating liability for themselves. Why company is creating liability for themselves? Why company will retain the money? Let's, let's suppose if company wants to expand their business, directors, they have taken decision, they require money to their business. So what they will do instead of paying all profit to the shareholders, they will keep some money with them, right? So that in future, they have to pay this money because this 1000 crore profit belongs to equity shareholders. So company is giving only 500 crore. So this 500 crore will be a liability of company, right? And this liability we show in retain earning side, or uh, that is other equity or you can say reserve and surplus. So 500 crore balance will be shown in reserve and surplus balance. Right? It will form part of reserve and surplus or you can say other equity balance. So every year if company is uh, holding profit 500 crore, so every year what company will do, company will add 500 crore here. Right? So let's suppose company has retained this profit for five years. So what total balance will appear in retained earnings side, total balance will be 2500 crore 500 into 5 you will do so total balance which will appear in running side will be 2500 crore rupees right so this is how uh trade or other companies they show their equity share capital and in other equity or you can say reserve and surplus company will show the retained profit of shareholders every year right so it will increase their capital so if i talk about the total capital of shareholders so you will say it will be the sum of share capital and other equity right? this is going to be the total capital of shareholders right so in this case shareholders fund will be 5391 in next lecture we will be discussing about current and non-current liability